Hello everybody, Proud Dad with Productive Gaming back once again with Pokemon Go. So uh, let's jump back into this. I made like an hour long video earlier. I met up with some really cool people. I saw at least 15 trainers who were also playing this game. And they had outstandingly high fucking CP Pokemon. It was ridiculous. I was going to pick Team Blue, but I actually met up with a good friend of mine who actually told me about this game like a year and a half ago and we've been pumped ever since I went sorry guys I was just waiting for that music to die down um, I went to a gym and it was blue and I was gonna be like well I'm gonna I'm gonna pick blue reinforce this gym then go take the other two gyms that I noticed that were over there in this in my town because there's like three gyms that are fairly close to each other but when I went to that blue gym, I saw people sitting. I saw people sitting on the step right next to the building that I thought it was. And I'm like, wait a minute, these have got to be trainers. And I got a closer look, and it was my buddy Kyle. And he's got a, po I can't remember which one, he's got like two or three of them that are like 450 CP, which is ridiculous. But then, shortly after I met up with him, we started walking around, and I caught a Pidgeot. And mine is 399 now. It was like 240 something, I think, 250 something, but I, I kept powering it up, which apparently I can't now. It says trainer level is too low to power up, which if you look right here on that big white bar going all the way around him, it's almost maxed out anyway. That might be why. But it took forever to catch him. He was a, technically like a tier three, like the, the highest evolution of his form. So the circle around him was red. So it took so many Pokeballs. And there was people watching me from across the street. And I'm just screaming. I don't give a shit. I'm like, I gotta catch this fucking Pokemon. I was screaming my ass off. I was like, yeah, I got him. I didn't give a shit. I didn't care who was around. Now I'm kind of disappointed on my, my egg here. As you guys can see, I've got 3.8 miles out of 10. Well, kilometers out of 10. I was riding my bike all over town. And I, I don't think the bike really counts. Because I rode at least 25 miles today, at least, all around my town, like four or five fucking times today. I was riding for probably four or five hours total, just spamming the shit out of this damn game. And I am actually going to go back out here before too long when it gets dark, because I heard that's when you get some of the good, uh, some of the good Pokemon, like the Clefairies and shit. Now... I am going to evolve another Pokemon. I'm going to evolve my Rattatata. As you guys can see, I caught a Scyther. I got that Pidgeot. I actually caught another Pidgeotto after I evolved my Pidgey. Now, a little trick to this game that I've been doing is I don't care if I need the Pokemon or not, I'm going to catch them. I, as you guys didn't get to see, I spent $10 on the game. And I got like 1,200 Poke Coins and I spent 800 on Pokeballs. Because I found a fucking Hypno on that last video and I wasn't able to catch him I ran out of fucking pokeballs and then I met up with Kyle and his friend and the first thing they told me is we just got we just got hypno from the same spot and he's like 300 and something I'm like oh my god I missed him because I came in unprepared but here we go with Ratatata let's see what we get well I know what we get but I want to see his CP, because this is his third of evolution, I think. Now second. I don't remember. Yeah, it's his final evolution, though. Oh, what is it? Where'd he go? His fucking CP. Oh, Raticate at 142. Not bad, not bad. It's actually not bad. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and power him up, see how much we get. 21 points for CP. Now, you guys missed out. I'm so sorry. I'm only going to keep these videos uh, to uh, to like 10 to 15 minutes because that last video was over an hour and it basically crashed my phone. It would not let me stop the recording because it was so long. So I actually had to shut my phone off. So you guys missed a lot of gameplay and I am terribly sorry about that, but I am getting back out there tonight. Right now I'm back at my house. Just kind of recapping what I did today. And I picked up another incense. 
I bought the 200 pack of Pokeballs because I didn't want to fucking run out again. Um, and there's a gym that was like way, it was, it was a couple miles away from this spot that I'm tapping at up here. But it was taken over by the yellow team. And my buddy that I was talking to said he just took the gym and somebody took it back from him. So what I did was when I went over there, I thought I took it. I lost every one of my Pokemon that I had up there except my last one. But I was able to kill the Pidgeotto that was holding it. Or the Pidgeot at like 250 something I think. So I killed one of them, but the second one was there too. So I told him about it. I met back up with him. I said, dude, I took out one of them. Go take the other one. Take it for me. I'll ride down there tonight and I'll reinforce that bitch and we'll start getting some fucking defense defensions over here. Cause I got a lot of a lot of Team Valor over in my town right now. I met up with a guy, um, literally like 15 people today. There was people walking down the street and holding their phone. I'm like, hey, Pokemon Go! And they were just thumbs up in me. They were like, fuck yeah, you know it. Dude, I met so many cool people today just playing this game. I had a lot of fun, and I cannot wait to get back out there. But right now. I had to come home, charge my phone, because uh, during that Pidgeot fight, my phone went from 30 to 11, and I really thought it was going to die, and I was going to be so mad if I lost that fucking Pidgeot. I was going to be so upset. But I'm so fucking happy that I caught that little son of a bitch. He was slippery. He was hard to catch. Apparently, if they are... I mean, most, most of these Pokemon right here that I've got were green. They had a little green circle around them. But the Pidgeot was red. And the other one, the Hypno that I was trying to catch was yellow. I guess you got to use berries, but I don't have any berries just yet. You got to use berries to calm the Pokemon so they're easier to catch. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't that bad, but he was he was worse than all the other ones I've tried to catch so far. I wasted a good 15, 20 Pokeballs on that son of a bitch. It seems like the red one that I caught, the Pidgeot. He was farther away, so I had to flick it up higher. And the reason I caught him is I actually got a great hit. And I guess nice, great, and curveball are the ones you can get. And those are like hitting him in the head or some shit like that, I guess. I don't know. But I guess that makes it better, a better chance to catch them. But I ended up hitting him with a great, and it was my first one that I ever got. I got a few nices. But a buddy of mine told me, like, the circle that's going around me right now, there'll be a circle that's going in on the Pokemon like you guys saw in my last video. It's better to hit him when the circle's smaller, I guess. And if you hit him with the circle small and hit him, try to get as close to the head as you can, I guess you're guaranteed to get him. But I wasn't really paying attention. I was paying attention more to my battery and <laughs> to trying to hit that son of a bitch. But I finally caught him, and I was really excited because immediately after... After it registered that I caught him, my phone died, and I had to come back here, and I was so mad. But I was actually happy because I did get him. Now, for the rest of this video, I am just going to take out... Uh, I'm not going to evolve my Weedle. I'm going to go ahead and transfer all of these guys if my phone will go down. I don't know why it's not. No, let me check if power saver. No, fucking god damn it, dude. Every time I get onto this game, I have to hit battery saver again. It always unclicks. I think that's why my phone's been at 29% this whole time. Because it's plugged in with a fast charger. If you guys can see that, uh, no, it doesn't say it. It normally says it in my notifications. But we're gonna go ahead and take out. No, those are actually some of my best, unfortunately. I don't need any more Rattatatas. I'm going to go ahead and break them down, transfer them. Come on. But I did not get a chance to try out these special attacks like Hyper Fang up here because I was I was too scared. I was tapping for my life trying to trying to destroy that gym and I finally got it, but it took 5 of my people, 6 of my people I think. My whole team. I I was down to my last guy when I actually got it. Can you go down? What the fuck is going on? I'm getting irritated with this. All I want to do is get rid of some of these weaker Pokemon, but it won't go down. 
No, I don't want to power him up. I want to go down, you bitch. Oh, my God. I guess I'll save that for another time. Can I do Sparrow? Fuck no, I can't. Jesus. I've only got three. I've only found this guy one time so far, and I need 50 Sparrow candies. This is what I really want. He had a Voltix that Kyle guy was telling me about, so I want to get some more EVs because I want some. And there are only 25 to evolve, and I think EV always had three evolutions, the fire, ice, and wind, or fucking lightning, whatever, I can't remember exactly. It's been 15 years, but I want to go get some more so I can evolve all three forms. And another thing I found out about this game from what Kyle was telling me is these footprints go by hundreds of meters. So that's 200 meters. That'd be three around 300 meters, which I have proven wrong a little bit. So I think it's more of like a roundabout. It's not exactly 300 meters because there's been times where I've seen it at three and then it just jumps to two and then jumps to one and then I've got the battle within a block. But, I mean, if you do think about it, 300 meters isn't really that far. But, like I was saying before, it's also like a, like a GPS beeping tracker. You'll know if you're getting too far away because the footprints will increase or disappear completely. So you have to backtrack. And if they start getting closer, you know you're getting closer. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think because I might just start making this a regular thing where I'm doing Pokemon Go videos every day, every week, whatever, every few days. And I might actually go to some really exotic places. I might get in the car and drive to like Lake Erie in Ohio or something because that's where I'm from is Ohio. So I might go drive up north to Lake Erie and see what I catch. I might be able to get a fucking uh, a magic carp and evolve that bitch. You know, I might be able to find a squirtle up there or something. You never know. But for now, that's the end of my video. I'm going back out later tonight for you guys and I'm going to record while I'm in the dark. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this video around. If you guys are a fan of Pokemon Go, let me know. And pick Team Valor because I said so. That's why. Team Red, fuck yeah. We're going to demolish this goddamn game. Go Team Red. Alright guys, peace.